So we did a rolling shutter test with the Arri Alexa in these eight different combinations. So we did 2880 pixels at 24 frames per second, at 72 frames per second, 48 frames per second, and then we did 90 degree shutters. When we switch to the open gate, uh, the camera has to reboot actually, the actual physical Alexa XT camera, and here are the results we came up with. So we see that the uh, frames per second made a big difference in the 2880, but the uh, shutter angle doesn't seem to have made a difference. The open gate seems to have quite a bit more of a rolling shutter. Uh, this particular figure here surprised me a little bit, but we see that uh, here that the shutter angle didn't make a difference but, uh, at 24, but at 48 frames per second it did, but that may be to our, due to our testing conditions or an error on our part. But in any case, we see that shutter angle often doesn't make an, a difference, but that frames per second does. And we see that open gate has a greater uh, rolling shutter angle. So let's take a look at the actual shots. So what we did is that we did the eight angles that you see right here, the eight uh, combinations. And so what we did is we shot, we slated and shot test of these. And uh, all of the moves were done as um, free moves. Uh, we started off with a grid for each one. And this was analyzed and undistorted. There's a slight mistake with the camera crew shooting it. Uh, one of the grids is not quite the same as the uh, actual test conditions, but that won't really affect things because what we did is um, that we actually um, did a fine adjust on our lenses in any case. So uh, I think we're okay as far as that goes. So we fine adjusted these and we did not use any LCO. The focal lengths, we, it's nominally a 50 millimeter lens and uh, we fine adjusted the open gate and the 2880. So the, uh, 20, the open gate of course has a bigger film back and so all these should actually be correct. So let's look again at how the plate is shot. So we've got a slate. So the big thing is that when we do these, let's look at this one here, we have an error. So here the error is 0.87. And then if we take the rolling shutter and we turn it off on all of these and recalc it, the error goes up dramatically. So here the error goes up to 2 with the rolling shutter turned off, and when we turn it back on, the rolling shutter goes down. So the faster the pan or tilt motion, the more of an improvement you'll get. So uh, since it's 48 frames per second uh, and there's no motion control, we were not able to pan faster. But on some of these other shots where you have you know really big whip pans, there's dramatic amounts of improvement with rolling shutter. So basically uh, on all the shots where we did not enable rolling shutter in equalizer, the error was always uh, one pixel or above, sometimes two pixels. And when we had the rolling shutter engaged properly calculated, it uh, was always around 0.5 for the rolling shutter. So I'm don't take these with a grain of salt as far as these figures, but these are our initial results.